Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Brainy, and this is Brainy Twin Gemini, where we chat about love and life, spiritual fitness and healing, the law of attraction, and manifesting your dreams into reality. I'm going to be doing a twin flame reading, and I will be channeling divine feminine and divine masculine energy using a custom twin flame oracle deck, twin, or sorry, oracle energy healing special messages for you and beautiful 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 souls so i'm going to get started here with masculine energy masculine energy is is doing amazing and one thing i want to talk about the masculine energy and it it is so great is you know i use a variety of decks and all decks that i've used today the twin flame card or the equivalent has come out so in the energy, the cornucopia card, number 11, represents twin flames in that deck, twin flame in the custom oracle deck that I uh, created. So to me, and it's so strange because I knew, I always know when the, how these cards are going to come out. I just, I just know. And um, so with that being said, the masculine energy has, has no doubt in their, in their heart space, in their head, their mind, that you're twin flames. So the only thing is, is like they're kind of stuck in in this twin flame um, knowledge, this newfound knowledge. They're stuck. They don't know how or what to do with it. One thing they are is like they're feeling the divine feminine very, very profoundly in 5D. And see, one, the one thing that brought, that led them to the truth of twin flames is they could hear and feel your thoughts of love and they could feel your energy. And... <clears throat> Some of them felt like they might have been going crazy, were extremely confused, and they couldn't unravel this energy that they were feeling, which they came to the realization that maybe this is not my own energy. So they started researching, and they stumbled across the twin flame uh, concept, perception, whatever it may be, however you may resonate, and all of the signs that they, and, and symptoms that they're, they're experiencing has led them to believe that you're twin flames, which is absolutely beautiful. One thing a masculine energy is feeling, and I don't know, again, what resonates, resonates, what doesn't, what doesn't, just pack it away in your pocket. Not everything will resonate with this message. Um, some of you are in a negative mindset, feminine energy, and the masculine feel this negativity and this anxiety. You're so strongly connected in the 5D and, and, the masculine energy is feeling that negative energy and they're asking you to please let it go. Let go of the negative energy. They are, as I said, they're a little bit stuck right now. They're procrastinating. So with all this beautiful knowledge and wisdom that have come to them, now they're trying to articulate in their mind and heart, what next? Now what do I do? Because there is always that overwhelming sense of regret and rejection the regret is how they left things they if this is truly your journey and this is the the soul journey twin souls soulmates divine you know faded connections however you resonate if this is truly your journey you love each other from the moment of inception it's instant soul recognition and it's instant 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 love there's no if ands buts about it you just right away you have because you've been yearning for each other um and so even though you go your separate ways to do what god wants you to do the masculine energy always always has a piece of you in their heart that never stops and they always have the same if amount of love in their heart as you do feminine energy so even though you're off in isolation in the in the physical world physically separated the masculine energy absolutely loves you there's no question. This is not a narcissistic relationship, nor is it an abusive relationship. Because you love each other so much that it's nearly impossible for you to hurt each other. And if you do, that, that means that you're not healed and you're triggering trauma. And that trauma comes out and it's in unhealthy ways. So it's never meant to be narcissistic, even though it seems that way. Um, uh, the divine masculine, as I said, is procrastinating, procrastinating a little bit, but they plan on communicating to you very soon because they are articulating a plan. They know what this is, and they are in this 
blissful state of self-love. So they, they were self-loathing. They were in a very bad situation of self-worth, not feeling worthy, but they're, they're gaining momentum rather quickly and they're getting to the journey of self-love. And this is what this journey truly is about. Sadly, and again, not everyone, not every beautiful soul in, in this journey comes from a very traumatic past. And that tra trauma always plays with the value of your worth and self-worth. And many of many lack that worth. And it for much of your life, you haven't had this pure self-love. And when you get to that self-love, that's what God, divine, universe, however you resonate, wants. You like self love radiates love, and I feel I, I'm not one to follow the moon. Um, I think it's coming in a few days. The only way I know I don't like I said I don't track the moon. The moon I, I'm more of a, of a sun person as opposed to a moon person. Um, but I feel that this 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 coming full moon in March in a few days. I think it's three or four days. We're at March third today. I think it's March sixth or seventh again. I don't follow the moon, but I think something very pro prolific is happening with this full moon and because of the masculine energy knows and the, and the, I feel like there's going to be communication um I f I really do feel something is happening with this this full moon um another thing is is you, you never right now you're always on the masculine's mind so they've re removed this toxic garbage or they're completing these these karmic cycles and the further they get to completion or away from it the more they think about you in a positive light and the more they love themselves. Again, I just want to reiterate this. There's someone out there, well, maybe a few of you, um, that are hanging on to some negative energy. It's natural, feminine. To It's like a love-hate relationship, honestly, um, but you have to overcome that hurdle and just get to that self-love yourself. Also, to the masculine energy, it feels like this is a past life connection. Like, you've been yearning and looking and searching you know for each other for thousands of years if that makes any sense but they've come to that knowledge and it's beautiful and just love and god's love and universe and divine however you resonate is just i want to say protecting this wonderful connection and not allowing um interference in and if the interference comes in there's some terrible inconveniences for these people that are trying to come in and, you know, interfere with this beautiful gift. So I feel like this full moon on March the 6th or 7th, again, I the only way, reason I know is because I can't sleep. And then <clears throat> some of you may not be able to sleep either. And then I'm like, oh, there must be a full moon coming because normally a week before the full moon, I cannot sleep. <laughs> I don't know what it is. So again, beautiful message. The masculine knows I f their, their cup is full. You know, um, they're grateful and for everything, for the lessons that they've learned, all of this beautiful, beautiful stuff. And the lastly, I want to give you beautiful, two beautiful messages, divine feminine, to take with you today. I'll come with your message, your energy in a moment. But the message is, um, and this is from your divine masculine, Stop taking life so seriously. Achievements and possessions will pale into insignificance when your soul journeys back home to the light from which everything stems. So that's exactly it. Stop taking life so seriously. Um, achievements and possessions will pale into insignificance when your soul, soul journeys back home to the light which everything stems. And I love that very, very much. So Divine Feminine stop taking life too seriously like i said these cards how they fall out is absolutely divine <laughs> you know how everything resonates always it's just insane um and the next beautiful message for you beautiful soul is a new love is coming your way yet in order to manif for this to manifest you must first release release the past are you ready all it takes is a conscious desire to do so. And I've, I have um, the Angel of Love card here. I have the Goddess of the Moon. To me, that just represents that the Moon is coming. But um, I have said in something prolific is coming your way, Divine Feminine, and that doesn't change. 
the energy is not fluid like it does change from day to day you cannot possibly have the same energy from day to day it changes and that's hence the messages but um many of you I, it, the past doesn't have to do with your divine masculine the, the past has to do with your reluctance to let certain things go and not to forgive forgive oneself you are forgiven and forgive others and just let the past go harboring the past keeps you in a prison live in the moment let it go and love will come to you as a result so i love that also so very much now i'm going to do divine feminine message beautiful divine feminine so much of your energy with the divine masculine is actually in sync right now um you're mirroring back and forth somewhat of the same energy so be careful the energy that you project in terms of negativity because as i alluded to earlier the masculine can feel it but one thing is is you're very very um telepathically aligned and you're don't say this to anyone that doesn't <laughs> that that is not like minded you're hearing voices um and that's almost like your twin communicating with you telepathically and you may be hearing this 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 energy or this this voice saying please please stop i can't like you know this this causing some anxiety and then what happens is you get the anxiety and then you transfer that back and forth and then it becomes a vicious cycle so many many of you though are um you know meditating unconditional love which is so ultimately beautiful however this is for some some of you that may be new to this journey um you're just stumbling across this and this this confusing journey some of you are, are confused and even if you've already been on the um, journey for some time you're, you're confused <laughs> this is a journey of confusion and just a, a whirlwind of emotion you're up you're down you're sideways like it's just crazy the emotion and you and see what i find is that the divine feminine always finds out first that your twin flames i don't know if it's just that energy that that nurturing loving energy uh, but the, I feel like the divine feminine always comes to the knowledge and the wisdom of twin flames first, and it's ultimately confusing. Um, you know, because why is it confusing? I think a lot of it has to do with a lot of the parasites out there monop monopolizing off people with vulnerable, vulnerable hearts and giving mixed messages. This is a journey of healing trauma, clearing karma, and getting to a true self love. And once you get to that self-love, I don't want to, you know, it. I, I don't, I don't want to spoil it for you. Once you get to that self-love, you have bliss, you have enlightenment, you have peace, you have harmony. And you just have to navigate to oneself, to the, the journey of self-love. So it's beautiful. You too have, know that this is a past life connection. And of course, you again are a little bit further ahead on your journey to yourself. And I feel like you've been you've been talking about or not talking, but knowing that this is a past life connection. And I feel feminine. You've been having dreams of this past life connection. And because the masculine is feeling like this is a past life connection, I know this stuff seems strange and obscure, but you're both in the same dream at the same time as a past life connection. And when in when you do come back into physical fruition or physical embodiment, you are going to have a discussion about the dreams that you were having. I know it seems strange. I'm, I was too on this journey and physical separation. And by the grace of God, we came together in physical harmony. And we talk about the crazy dreams um, that we had. And we talk about Jesus and Mary. And it's just how we resonate. Doesn't mean you have to resonate with that. But, you know, it's, it's crazy how you can dream at this. And it is scientifically possible. It's astral projection which a lot of society wants to keep that um, secret but it, it, it's it's amazing you're seeing beyond the veil and you're peeling away the false la the, the layers of your false self which is beautiful so when you peel away your false self because we're on this journey of life as false selves because we have been fed labels and institutional labels that conform us to who we're meant or who we're obviously supposed to be but who are truly not meant to be if that makes any sense 
So you're peeling away, you're seeing beyond the veil, the mask of your false self. And as a result, you're coming to this beautiful wisdom, knowledge, inner guidance, and it's beautiful. Um, you're seeing crazy signs and things right now. And it's like, you're like, no, I can't do this anymore. Stop, stop, stop. Like it is, there's, it's like every day, multiple times a day. So it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, I have the fourth chakra here, the heart chakra. And I feel that your heart chakra is opening up and you're, you're meditating and manifesting love. You may feel some weird heart fluttering. Um, that's your heart chakra opening up. It's, it's, when your heart chakra opens up, it's one of the most beautiful events in your life, but it could almost be one of the most scary events because it can cause trembling, body trembling. The whole body can tremble. Um, please do not mistake this as maybe having a heart condition. You'll know and in your inner guide, God will tell you whether this is, is truly a, a, a chakra event or something else. But many of you are feeling these tremors, these trembles, these the shaking. That's your heart chakra. I also have the sun here. Um, with the masculine, it was more the moon. With the feminine, it's more the, more the sun. And ironically, you know, I speak of this and then I do the cards for the feminine after I do for the man masculine. I was just speaking of the sun. And <laughs> the sun comes out for feminine energy. Um, two things here. Sun represents new beginnings. It's without the sun, things don't flourish and blossom. Um, we have the moon, we have the sun. I feel like there's this beautiful balance between the masculine and feminine energy going on right now in the universe, and you may not even know it. It's beautiful. Also, too, uh, another message is get out in the sun. The sun is one of the greatest healing elements on this earth. It's God's gift to us. And some of you have been in this darkness laying in bed, like, just get up, do what's good for you, what's best for you. Um, it's not serving your soul, this confusion, this anger, this, you know, but you're just, like, peeling away, and you, you, when you peel away an onion, what is left? Nothing. So it's tough, I know, but just get out into the sun if you can, you'll spend two, three minutes. Uh, I feel like some of you are not sleeping either. Have a nice hot bath, Epsom salts, breathe. You know, meditate, listen to mute like frequencies. Science has proven that they help. And there's it's 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 amazing what they can do for you. And then so a little bit last thing is patience, patience, patience. This is a journey of patience. And I, you know, even to this day, <laughs> I shouldn't share, but I will just because my my beautiful masculine or my beautiful soul always says patience, patience, child, patience. Because even though when I was in the journey of separation, I think that was one thing that I really truly had to learn was patience and trust and faith. So please be patient um, and just have trust and faith. So what I have for the feminine energy, a message to the masculine energy is surrender all that no longer serves you. Let all remains buried in your heart come to the surface and be healed. Let there be space for new energies to enter. A new beginning transforms darkness to light. I love this so much. It's crazy, crazy, crazy how these cards come out. Because the masculine energy is doing this. And it they buried some stuff in their heart. And they're letting it come out. And they're letting it heal. And a new beginning transforms. The sun. You know, the moon. A new, a, a new you know, a new love. It's your love, and it and it's and it's blooming as a result, and the masculine is ab absolutely in a light of bliss and self love. Beautiful message, and you are who you are because of your history. All of it has helped you grow into love and wisdom. Every experience has blessed you in some way. Embrace the past. Forgive anything that needs forgiving, and that's exactly what I said earlier. Forgive, forgive, forgive. Let the past go. And forgive anything that needs forgiving, even if it's oneself. Forgiving yourself is one of the most liberating things. You can forgive yourself and you are forgiven. No, no matter what. Once you forgive yourself and meditate forgiveness for yourself, you are free of that prison. So that's what I have. You guys, 
I want to say <laughs> this this um, collective very in sync, very aligned, feeling each other magnis magnificently and wonderfully. There are some that are negative, and that's transferring to the masculine and then transferring back to the feminine. Always meditate unconditional love. That's loving freely without ask or condition and self-love. You love each other like nothing else and nothing will sever the bond that you share. Nothing, no one, nothing. This isn't a coincidence that you came together. This is a divine plan and it is divine love. So that's all I have for you today, beautiful, beautiful souls. If any of this resonates, kindly hit the notification bell, thumbs up, subscribe, comment. Love to hear your comments. And I read every single one. I may not be able to respond. You know, with liking, it really, truly does help the YouTube algorithm. I truly want to just get this message out there. I want to get the message. I want to get the truth out there. Have a beautiful day, folks.